This is Dr. Jerry Hesch. I work at Hesch Institute in Aurora, Colorado. And um, I treat the patient and I treat joints throughout the body and I treat the nervous system. And I wrote a book on the sacroiliac joint, which is 320 pages. And then I have a, I have two book chapters on the, on the topic, a couple of articles. Um, and I've taught workshops since 1985. This is a very rare presentation. Um, my client has normal mobility if we do spring testing or end field testing in multiple directions. And that was inferior. And this is superior. I push up until it stops moving. And then I give it a little thrust of about 15 pounds and normal structure will spring in that direction and recoil with integrity. Where she does not move is when I come on the PSIS and capture the ilium and I'm springing in the plane of the joint which parallels the outer plane of the ilium. I cannot get any load on that and I'm pushing with 15 pounds of force. Okay, the other thing we find is that the sacrum is perhaps a little more forward than usual. Um, we're not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, could be her norm, but if we change it, we'll pay attention to that. So uh, for the moment, I'm going to say that's probably deeper than her norm, but we don't treat position, we treat movement. So I'm going to come on S2, S1, and S3 with the heel of my hand, and I'm trying to induce motion purely anteriorly into her body or towards the floor. I can't get any movement on that sacrum. And yet, the sacrum does have some inferior glide motion. I saw her feet move because the force translated through the SI into the hips, into the knee, into the ankles. And now I'm going to spring inferiorly. And that's more of a test of the L5S1 facets. And she has inferior glide mobility, but she just doesn't have pure anterior glide. And um, it's been so long since I've seen one of these, I estimate it to be eight or 10 years ago very rare but she did sustain a fall right onto her sacrum and that happened twice yes okay and those were pretty close to each other yes one year apart one year apart yeah okay all righty and it's fair to say your pain is severe it is. and it greatly impairs your ability to do normal things like right. standing and cooking right your husband had to help you you went to a stretch place yes. and they did stretching and you got worse that yes. was this week yes and your husband have to, had to help you get up to the bathroom yes i mean this is a serious impairment um so what i'm going to do Oh, I just want to point out a couple of ligaments. So this is sacrotuberous ligament, which blends with the long dorsal sacroiliac ligament. It's a very powerful ligament. And then uh, there's a lateral ligament um, that's covered up by, by the sacrotuberous ligament. And that's right here. You see this projection right in there. That is sacrospinous ligament. And these ligaments should have a little bit of give. And I describe it as a th three eighths inch rope being kind of being pulled very tight where you can indent it a little bit and you can spring it and it should go forward slightly, but bounce back with integrity. Okay. Well, I'm trying for the sacro, uh, the long dorsal SI ligament, and it just feels really soft underneath the, uh, underneath the, uh, PSIS. But more than that, I, I, I trust the sacrotuberous ligament. If you make a triangle, you're almost on top of it. It's just slightly more medial. And so I come at, at an oblique approach and dig through the, uh, the gluteals. And there it is. There's the ligament right there. It's distinct, okay? But I'm going to spring it now. I'm going to indent it. And I indented it. And it went further than I would expect. 
and now I spring it, nothing happens. It doesn't bounce back. And that's also true for the sacrotuberous, sacrospinous rather, the sacrospinous ligament on both sides. I just push into it, it just stays there. So I'm gonna place foam on her ilium in the back at a 30 degree angle to capture the plane of the joint. I need to make sure those are not on the sacrum. I want those to be on the ilium. So it's gonna look like this, okay? Maybe it's a 25 degree angle, who knows? Um, all right, so let's have you lie on your back. Keep your knees bent and then lift your pelvis up. Okay, so there's one and here's another. And I'm going to then put uh, about three pillows under your knees for comfort, okay? Okay. Can I slide these two under? And then I'll bring you one more. Okay. Here comes one more. All okay. right. So I will stop filming and then we will uh, film the response to treatment. Okay.